Our brother Merle Unger was convicted of felony murder in Washington County, Maryland in 1976 and was given life in 15 years. During this incident, an off-duty police officer was shot and killed. In 2012, Merle had his case overturned, which opened the door for anyone convicted by a jury before 1980. Merle was quickly retried, found guilty, and given the same life sentence. There has been a strange case in the state of Maryland in which almost 230 some prisoners have gained their eligibility for freedom, uh, 160 some have actually been released. The person that fought the longest and the hardest for the release of these prisoners is a prisoner named Merle Unger. And the strangeness of the case is that Merle Unger is one of the few people that is not being released. Since 2012, over 160 lifers has been released off of our brother's case. Our brother is 68 years old and has, almost 40, has spent almost 42 years in prison. He hasn't been involved in any violence while in prison. He has learned many skills, gets along very well with staff, and helps others. Washington County has reduced the sentences of others convicted of felony murder and or rape, which led to their release. So are they, they are obviously biased against our brother. The question we asked is, is it fair that close to 200 have been released because of our brother's issue while he can't get equal justice? Mr. Charles Strong, the head district attorney in Hagerstown, Maryland, refuses to treat our brother the same as anyone else, perhaps for a personal or political reason. In over four years, not a single one of those released have went back to prison, which is proof that people change as they get older. It costs taxpayers billions each year to keep people 50 and older in prison, while studies show they are very low risk to commit another crime. The key thing was we didn't have TV when we were a child growing up, and we didn't know anything different than just the things that our parents taught us and stuff, but the day it's out there. But we, we live very poorly. We came from a family of 12, uh, and he went through so much verbal and mental abuse and physical abuse growing up and we all had low self-esteem and it took us years to go out and and you know the people in prison amaze me the people that i know here every one of these lifers that's left out they're they're all like a brothers to me and stuff and sisters and they're the most loving and giving back to the community people that i ever heard so we all make mistakes and when you're young and don't know any better and if people out here that would grew up with a low self-esteem and the abuse that, that he and a lot of these other people, and that's why they pick on the people because they're so poor. Most of your people in prison are poor and can't fight the justice. But there's wrong justice done to everyone in the prison system today. And if I can do anything to help anybody out, they, no one deserves to die in prison. What can people do to maybe help support the effort to to, to win his release uh, because it, there's obviously there's hundreds of people that has a vested interest in him gaining his freedom since they gained theirs. Uh, so what can people do, not just those people, but the people's families and so on. So what can people do? They can write letters. To who? I don't know who you would write them to, but probably the governor or I don't know who you would write you mean them petitions? to. Well, well, I'm probably I'm mean, if he has a lawyer, I I would assume that if if some kind of way y'all could make that known, people could write letters to the lawyer. To the lawyer. And for the governor. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, so that there will always be a copy the lawyer will have a copy, but then it can it can be a letter to the governor, you know. I think I don't know. Is there anything else you think 
Yes, this is a uh, this is for off duty uh, or police officers and things like that. To, it's getting killed in the line of duty or mm -hmm. lose their life trying to help others, and it's called duty calls is the palm and yeah. from your family in blue. Mm -hmm. And he's doing this from prison too. So he sent these cards to me, and then I make copies. Now he sends these for for freed out to people mm -hmm. um, to try to ease their pain from what they're going through. And then this one he made up that's um, for, it's called the Life of Roses, another palm that he made. And this is for like battered women, mm -hmm. uh, rape victims and stuff like that. So when we see anything going on like that, we try to Google it and get to where someone could, um, An and send these. Does, is it anybody in the family have a website or anything for We're him? We're working on that. We're trying to get uh, that set up at, uh, I'm very, I don't know nothing about computers and I was paying a girl to do it, but she went back to college and uh -huh. I don't know how far she is on it, but I'm trying to work on that to get a website to put uh, this artwork out. He does a lot of artwork, uh, like this is a painting he did. Uh, we got lots of them, yeah. yeah. And um, so uh, we're trying to get a website set up for him and a podcast as well to try to get out to help reach more people.